If you want many audios now available on YouTube, you can support my Patreon page. Link in the video description. Without further ado, enjoy the video. I must say, this is the first meal I've ever eaten without having a stomach bug. Oh, come on. It only happened once. I've gotten better. <laughs> no need to get all excitable. I was only joking. Oh, no one's laughing. Um, human? Are you feeling okay? You haven't touched your food. Maybe you joking about the food being poisoned made them lost their appetite. Ow. Hush. That's not true. I'm really worried about them, Nick. Hey, if they're not hungry, then they're not hungry. In fact, I got room in my stomach for more. Ow. Honestly, Nick, do you even have any manners? Mm -mm. It's not rude if you don't want to eat. But you don't know- <sighs> uh, uh? You're not hungry? What do you mean you're not hungry? You haven't eaten in hours. You gotta be starving by now. Human, talk to us. Is there something we don't know about? I promise you, we can help you. This is nothing, no way do you- Sound like there is something. Uh... Slight issue? What's the slight issue? You don't have a place to stay, is that it? Okay, let me get this straight. You're refusing to eat because you're stressed. And you're stressed because you didn't want to tell us that you don't have a place to stay. And you're worried that... Nick, stop interrogating the human. If they don't want to talk about it, then don't force it out of their... <coughs> oh. Oh. <coughs> Why did you knock me to the wall? <coughs> <coughs> I'm not interrogating anyone. I just want to get to the bottom of this. Clearly something is wrong, and I want to know. By where this is going, the human is comfortable enough to talk about it. Getting kicked out. Being a burden. A freeloader. Is that what you're worried about? <sighs> Why the hell would we do that? Now that we know you're homeless, there's no point in letting you go. That is, if you want to risk your whole life in the wilderness with animals and monsters. You did this in your whole life? You don't have anyone to help you? You know, provide any needs? Food? Shelter? What about your parents? Are they still around? Uh, I see. Uh, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Your village was raided. And some of you had to evacuate. Some of you survived and some of you didn't. So you guys camped out as long as you can. With lack of food and water. Then... Monsters attacked the campsite. Killing several people. And you're the only one alive? Ah... And you kept running until the monster got you. And you thought you died. <sighs> That's horrible that a village you grew up has been in shambles. My dear, it's a blessing that you were the only one alive, and it's a good thing that we found you. After everything I've heard, there's no way in hell I would let you go back with danger lurking about. Even if your village wasn't destroyed, we would gladly welcome you with open arms. However, I do want to find out who's responsible for this damage. That is, if you're comfortable. You could say no if you don't want to. We won't force you, but we're worried that our town will be next. Nick is right. If the enemy is still up and about, then our village will be at risk. Hey, 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 hey. I say you don't have to if you don't want to. We're not trying to scare you. <laughs> uh... You want to find the culprit. Do you remember who the culprit is? 
I see. No need to apologize. We thought you would remember. Although... A man... Okay. A man with big heavy armor, riding a black horse, and holding a large katana. Did you get a glance on his face? We'll worry about his face later. Right now, we gotta be aware of the heavy armored man riding a black horse. Right. <sighs> Nervous? I would deny and say no, but... Human, are you sure you want to do this? You can stay here and we'll investigate. Uh... <laughs> Oh, your village. <laughs> no, I don't know where your village is. <sighs> right. <laughs> I knew that already. Uh, <clears throat> right. Let's get some sleep and we'll start our journey now. Mm. In second thought, we'll start our journey tomorrow morning.